Hey, what is up everybody? This is Mark from Big Blue Laser Designs and I get this question a lot so I figured I'd make a tutorial to make it easier for everybody. A lot of people ask, how do you take a box that is made with finger joints and change it for, for one thickness to another? For example, here I've got a five-sided box here, uh, doesn't have a lid, and it's made for eighth inch material. And the question is, is it easy to change it to something for quarter inch material? And I'll say the answer is yes. Here in just a couple minutes, we will change all the sides here and it'll be very, very easy. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to just separate all these pieces, move them uh, away from each other a little bit so we have a little bit more room to work. Just do that for a second. And we'll just dial in on this particular piece. And what I'm gonna show you here on this piece, you're just going to repeat for all the other ones. So let's start by making a rectangle with the rectangle tool. And by the way, I'm using Illustrator. This will work in any uh, design program that you have. It's really easy to do. So I'm gonna take a rectangle, rectangle and I'm gonna make it taller than this piece, just randomly taller like that. And then I'm gonna go over to the transform tool and I'm gonna make this thing a quarter inch wide, 0.25, or sorry, I'm in the wrong uh, field there. Let's try that one more time. 0.25 inches wide, okay? So now that I've got this 0.25 wide, I'm gonna move it over top of our piece here. I'm gonna align one side of it with the inside of uh, these tabs here. And you can probably already tell what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that as a guide so I know how far to uh, move these tabs out to make them longer. I'm gonna go to the direct select tool right here, which is the A key on a Mac uh, in Illustrator. And I'm gonna select all of these uh, nodes right here on the end. So you see I've got all of these selected and I accidentally selected all the ones on the rectangle too. So let me uh, just unselect those by clicking them and holding shift down so I unselect those. And now I've got all of those, those uh, nodes selected. I'm just gonna simply pull them all out and hold down shift so they don't uh, get crooked and pull them right out to that uh, edge of that box there edge of that rectangle. And you see now we've got all of those already as long as they need to be. Go over here, do the same thing on this side. And uh, another way you could do this if you wanted to is you could uh, lock this rectangle over in the layers panel. That way you don't accidentally select any of the nodes on it. Then I can go ahead and select all of these here and simply drag these out by holding the shift button down while I pull them out. And those are a quarter inch unlock my rectangle, rotate it 90 degrees, move it right down here, and do the same thing. I'll lock it again, just make it easier on myself. Select all the nodes and hold down shift while we're pulling it out. And we've got it done right there. And that's all it takes to edit all of the pieces on, on that one particular uh, part of the box. And as you probably know with a box, you've got these two pieces are identical, so I could just delete this one and then just copy paste this one so I've got two of them. And then I'll make the same adjustments to uh, two of these, or these two here, and uh, copy and paste one and then just adjust this one and I'm all done adjusting this entire box for from eighth inch to quarter inch.